Hallelujah, glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. And if this is the first time you're seeing me, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that God is going to cause um, use this channel to minister to you, to bless you, to help him, you know him better, to help you have a better relationship with God in the mighty name of Jesus. So if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do that right now. And please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live or there is a release of a prophetic word, you're going to be notified. You don't want to miss out on this. I always say you never know when God has a direct word for you. Hallelujah. So kindly subscribe. God bless you as you do that. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord laid this prophetic word in my heart and I thought to share because many of us, we are really affected by this god says he is sending someone from a far away country they are coming from elsewhere to help you he is sending someone who is far away to come and bring help to you we always look around us for help when something is not going right we always turn to look around us for help and it seems like that is the only place where help can come from Whereas it has shown that most of the times God used the most unlikely people to reach out to us. When the Lord gave me this prophetic word, he reminded me of the story of Nehemiah. You know, Jeru the walls of Jerusalem were in ruins, you know, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem were not able to rebuild it. Nehemiah was in a faraway land serving a king while he was there. And nobody in Jerusalem had the burden to rebuild the walls. Nobody in Jerusalem had that burden. Not like they did not have the ability. No, but they did not just have the burden to do it. So you might be surrounded with people. You are in trouble. They see you are in trouble. But they do not have that burden to help you. They actually see you. I have learned. This has happened to me. I When, God, when the Lord gave me this prophetic word, I knew it is true because there are people that i feel led in my heart to help you know but for some reason i keep postponing or delaying the help i really feel like i want to help this person but for some reason i postpone it and the person is in pain the person really needs my help or i have all you know god just wants me to bless someone not necessarily because they are in pain or anything but god wants me to bless them but for some reason, I keep turning around and to you who has the resources, it is nothing. But to the other person who badly needs that, it is everything. You have not made the promise to them. You have not told them you want to help them. But they really do need that help. And so many times when I come to the consciousness that this person really needs my help, I just go ahead and do it because at that point, I am their destiny helper. I am what their destiny needs. The more I delay, the more they languish in pain. Someone might have what you need, but is so unbothered about it. God might even lay it in their heart to help you, but they don't feel the urgency in their spirit to do it. I got to realize that. They don't feel that urgency to help you. And so God was telling me that though this person is around, though they are seeing you struggling with this, they are not in a position to help you. But he's going to send someone in a faraway land, someone you least expected, someone and give them the burden to help you. And they are not going to have peace nor rest until they help you. You know, Nehemiah was not in Jerusalem. He had no business rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. He was fine where he was. The Bible says that he was serving the king. He was like a cup bearer serving the king, eating at the king's table. So he was fine and comfortable. But when he heard the news, his, his brothers came to visit him and they told him that Jerusalem were in ruins. When he heard that news, he was devastated. He could not even eat. God laid a special burden on him. He could not eat so much so that the king told him, asked him, why are you in the state? What is going on? And he told the king, I cannot be eating here whereas my where i come from is in ruins i've got to do something you realize that the king gave him every resource he needed to build now what got me in this 
is the fact that it's not only the fact that Nehemiah had the burden to build, but he was resolute. There are people God send your way and they are resolute to help you. It doesn't matter what is happening. They stand their grounds. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May God send you people that will be resolute, determined in helping you no matter what. In Jesus' mighty name. May God send you people and put a burden in their heart to stand there until they have accomplished that which they have to do for you. In the mighty in the name of Jesus, Nehemiah came back to rebuild the walls. And people, the adversaries rose against him. Sambalas and Tobias and the other guy, they rose against him and they did everything in their capacity to stop him from doing that. So, Sambalas and Tobias, they were in Jerusalem. There was a problem. The walls were in ruins, but they could not do anything about it. Not like, if you see the resources they used in fighting Nehemiah, the tactics they used in fighting Nehemiah, it meant if they wanted, they would have been able to rebuild it. But it was not just their issue. They weren't concerned about that at all. There are people in your life who have the capacity to help you, but they are not bothered about what you're going through. But they would rather fight the person that is coming to help you. Nehemiah was determined about doing what he came there to do. He recruited people to work with him. And the Bible says they were building in one, one hand and they held a sword to fight with another. They were determined to rebuild the walls. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May God send you people who understand their assignments in your life and that they will stop at nothing until they have helped you to do that. In the mighty name of Jesus, I make a prophetic declaration upon your life may you attract people that will find big interest in your destiny and that will not stop until you have become that which god says you will you will become in the mighty name of jesus they will not slow down they will not give up in the mighty name of jesus i pray for someone under the sound of my voice may god raise people that will be willing to fight just to help you that will be willing to go over and beyond just to help you in the mighty name of jesus i am making this prophetic prayer because i know that there are people who want to help you and when they encounter battles they back out they really want to help you but when, when they encounter opposition they just decide to let you be and when they do that you are the one that is at the losing end i pray God says that he's sending someone from far away to help you. As they come, they will not feel weary until they have accomplished their missions in your life. As they come, they will not give up on you until the task they were supposed to carry out in your life is accomplished. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is sending you destiny helpers, divine helpers that will stand with you until the task they came to accomplish in your life has been accomplished. In Jesus' mighty name, did you receive this word with gladness? I pray that the Lord will bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you, that he will be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.